I've measured out three cups of raw almonds, three cups using a dry measuring cup. This is 13 ounces or 370 grams. We'll also need a quarter cup of oil. I'm using vegetable oil. This is two ounces. Half a teaspoon of sea salt is optional. I'll add it when I'm processing the nut butter. We'll be using the short cup. We'll put the nuts and oil in the short cup. Blend for 30 seconds. Then we have to take off the blade, stir everything, and repeat three to six times. You have to remove the blade and stir each time because it'll be very sticky. I'll put the nuts in the short cup. Half a teaspoon of sea salt and the quarter cup of vegetable oil. Screw the blade on. Plug in the Nutribullet. Press the power button. It'll turn blue. Put the short cup in the base and the Nutribullet will turn on by itself. I turned it off after 30 seconds. Take the blade off. Give it a stir. You want to clean off the nuts that are around the blade. We'll do this again a few more times. Each time you put the cup in the base, it should be for 30 seconds. That was another 30 seconds. Okay, I don't think it wants to turn on. Let me remove it, turn it off, press power again, try again, and nothing's happening. Maybe the machine needs a break because it was a little too much to uh, handle the almond butter. So I'm going to give it a few minutes and then try again. So I stopped it before the 30 seconds because there was no movement at all and I could smell the uh, motor burning. Just going to turn the power button off. You can see that the um, almonds closest to the blade have been processed. It's just like chunky almond butter, but all of the uh, almonds 
and the rest of the cup here are not processed they're just in big chunks and there's big pieces of almonds so as you saw the Nutribullet cannot handle almond butter the instructions do say that if you're processing nut butters after four or five cycles to give the machine a 10 minute break but I didn't even process it for four cycles and it already needed a break. After three cycles I did give the Nutribullet a break because it just wouldn't turn back on and when it did turn back on it didn't move any of the nuts in the cup. I really don't want to spend all day trying to make almond butter in a machine that I have to give breaks to. It doesn't make any sense to do that. So while the Nutribullet is a powerful blender and makes good smoothies it's just not going to make almond butter. Well, I really don't want to waste all this, and this is going to be kind of hard to eat, so I'm going to try and process this in my Vitamix. The key to making almond butter in the Vitamix is to slowly turn the speed dial all the way to the highest speed. Then turn the toggle switch to high. Even with the Vitamix, I like to turn it off, give it a few seconds, mix it in between, and then turn it back on. This way you prevent the motor from overheating. Here is the almond butter in the Vitamix. And it's really smooth. Just gonna give it a taste. That's impressive. It's completely smooth. Using the tamper and moving it constantly, you can definitely make almond butter in the Vitamix. The Vitamix costs about three to four times more than the Nutribullet, so this is of course not a fair comparison, but I had to salvage my three cups of chunky almond pieces. Perfectly smooth, creamy almond butter. After making almond butter in both blenders, I decided it's best for me to just go buy a bottle of almond butter at the store. I like almond butter, but I don't eat it every day. I just don't absolutely love it. I understand if you love almond butter and you want to make your own, the Vitamix will do it. As always, I hope you found this helpful. Subscribe for more reviews and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.